Test number four, which most of you are going to have to retake on Wednesday at 2.30, is mostly like this. It gives you a graph, and you have to say what the equation is that goes to that graph. So right here is your line. You have to pick A, B, C, or D, which one of those four equations matches this line. So all those four equations are going to be some form of Y equals MX plus B, where M stands for slope, and slope is rise over run, which tells you how the line is slanted. Is the line going up? Is it going real steep? Is it going down? Maybe it's kind of flat. That's what M tells you. So you have to, you have to on this test more than any, eliminate wrong answers first. Because look at the line. It's going down from left to right. That means your M, your slope, is going to be negative. It's going to be y equals some negative number, negative 6 or something. It doesn't, it's not negative 6, but my point is slope is negative. The line's going down. So if choice A is y equals 1 half x plus 3, you will definitely not pick A because 1 half is a positive number here. And slope is negative. The line is going down. When your line is going down, your slope is negative. When the line is going up, your slope is positive. All right, so that's a really, really good place to start is look at the line. Is it going up or down? And eliminate the wrong choices. If it's going up, eliminate the ones with a negative slope. If it's going down like this, eliminate the ones with a positive slope. Once you have it narrowed down to two or three choices, then you can start looking at the numbers, right? There's another way to eliminate choices too, and it's not just with M, it's with B, your y-intercept. So where does this line cross the y-axis at? It crosses it up one, two, three spaces. So you're looking for the one that's y equals mx, some number for M, it'll be actually be a negative M, a negative slope, plus three. So you're looking for the one that ends in plus three because this line crosses at one, two, three spaces up on the y-axis. If it's anything other than plus three, you can eliminate that. So between the slope and the y-intercept, you can eliminate a lot of answers before you even try and figure out what the actual answer is. All right, so say you have two choices that say plus three. Say you have y equals uh, negative one-half x plus three, and you also have y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 3. And let's give a third choice in here. y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 3. You can't eliminate any of those. So far, they all could be right because they all have a negative slope, which is what we need because the line's going down. And they all have a y-intercept at plus 3, which is correct. They're all crossing at plus 3. So it's going to come down to the slope on this one. You have to be able to determine from a graph what is the slope. And to do that, you have to find two points that cross right on grids. So when I say grids, I mean these lines going straight across and straight up and down. Does the line cross right here? No. Does it cross right there? No. Here? No. No. Yes, it crosses right here. That's where it crosses right at a grid. And it's also right here where it crosses right at a grid space. So that's where you got to count between those two points. From one point to the next, how far up or down and how far across. It doesn't matter if you go from this one to that one or from this one to that one. We already know that our slope is negative. We're just saying how far up and down in between those points and how far across in between those points. Well, there's one, two, three spaces here up and down in between them. This point is on the y-axis and this point is three spaces above it. So our rise is three. That's our top number. It's rising three. So we can already tell that it's going to be this choice because that's the only one with a rise. The top number of our slope is three. The rise on here is one. The rise on there is four. But it's rising three spaces and how far across, how far, how many spaces in between the points going across, that's our run. One, two, three, four spaces. So three over four, the line's going down, so it's a negative three-fourths. So it was this one. All right, that's what all the problems in the do section are like today. You either have to match graphs with 
equations or they'll give you the graph and you have to write the equation yourself. So that's a little bit more difficult than multiple choice because you're not going to have the answer right in front of you. You're going to have to come up with the answer out of thin air, out of your own head by looking at the graph. So to come up with the equation for this or any line, you should start by looking at where does the line cross the y-axis and that's your B. B is usually the easiest one to find between M and B. It crosses at 3, and what was the slope? The slope was negative because the line's going down, and like we said, how far up and down is it going? The key to that is finding two points that are right on grids. Don't count from here to here and say it's going up 2.5 and, and going across 3. That's too inaccurate. You don't know if that's exactly halfway up in between 0 and 1. So you can't just pick any point on here. You got to pick where the line crosses exactly at two, where two grid lines intersect. All right. So that that's probably the toughest toughest part of these problems because most of them aren't going to give you the actual dots on there. They're not going to draw all the points for you because that would just make it too easy for you. Then you could count how far up and down and how far across between those two points. You're going to have to find those two points yourself. And that's the hardest part on the test. That's the hardest part on the do problems is finding where exactly does the line cross right at grids. None of these, none of these. It's here and here. And then you can see that it's going up and down three and across four. So your slope is negative three fourths. So and that's all you need to write the equation of a line is M and B. Y and X stay Y and X. So Y equals MX plus B. You don't mess with X and Y. You keep those there. You put the numbers in for M and B. M is negative 3 fourths. B is 3. So all I did was take out the N and put in the negative 3 fourths. Take out the B and put in the 3. And you're done. That's the equation of the line. Move on to the next problem. You guys should be able to do this. We've been working on this for a while now. I know you were a little unprepared for the first time we took the test, but the retake hopefully will go much better.